Assassin's Creed Valhalla gameplay is brutal. Will Cyberpunk 2077 come to Xbox Game Pass and Resident Evil 4 Remake might still be happening. Welcome everybody to a new episode of Top Gaming News where we talk about game news, rumors and so much more and this week we got some of those as well. So let's just jump right into it. Assassin's Creed Valhalla had a really great showcase in my opinion because you got to see what Vikings can do when you play in the game because you can go to raids to different locations and while you're traveling to those locations you and your crew can sing along, the crew can even share some stories and so much more which is really interesting in my opinion which was actually a little bit similar to that of Black Flag and I'm really happy that they added that to this game. Now that raid is also very much important because it can help improve your settlement and build it even more stronger. One thing that was shown is the combat style and it looks really really cool. I know a lot of people are comparing this combat style to Odyssey and in some ways it is similar but in my opinion it is a lot heavy and a lot brutal. You can wield dual weapons and you can also have different combos with those weapons. You can even throw two axes at someone that looks so sick. Apart from the main storyline you can also get your hands on some side missions such as talking to a cat. That alone makes this game 10 out of 10 IGN. Another cool thing was addition of these boss battles and the boss battle looks smooth and it looks brutal at the same time and not only that you can also discover the stories of Norse mythology and do some boss battles over there as well. Overall Assassin's Creed Valhalla looks really solid and I'm really excited to play this game when it comes out because it's coming out at the same date as Cyberpunk 2077 that is November 17th so there will be some competitions. Watch Dogs Legion also had an impressive showcase and all I wanted to see was some granny gameplay but we never got to see that. Well I think that's a great thing because the best should be saved for the last. Here you can use different people that you recruited in your team for different missions and each one of them have different abilities. One can hack everything, one can make robots and use them to infiltrate and one can just go all John Wick. Looks like I'm having John Wick and Granny in my team. The world of Legion looks really good and I cannot compare this game to Watch Dogs 2 since I have not played that game but I'm pretty much sure that a lot of people are excited to play this game since it has hacking and it has a lot more new stuff added to it which I think can make this game even better than Watch Dogs 2. Now as I said before in the previous video you don't have to waste your time watching Twitch streams so that you can get the hype escape drops because now the open beta has started for everybody to play and all you have to do is open Uplay and start playing the open beta of Hyperscape. So let me know in the comments below how much are you liking this game. So what do you guys think of part 1 of Ubisoft Forward since Ubisoft is actually gonna bring another Ubisoft Forward later down in this year. So let me know in the comments below which game are you most excited about, is it Watch Dogs Legion or is it Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Without a doubt Cyberpunk 2077 is one of the most anticipated game of this year and even though this has been delayed twice, everyone is still very much excited for it. I mean they did delay it but they also made a new video talking about some cool new features that the game is having. But some of the people have questioned about the release date of the game and especially about Xbox Game Pass whether that game will release in Xbox Game Pass on launch or not. There was a rumor earlier that the game is going to release on launch in Xbox Game Pass as well but that rumor was shot down by CD Projekt Red and it seems like this has been confirmed very much recently. The lead PR manager of CD Projekt Red, Radek, replied to one of the tweets talking about Cyberpunk whether it's going to launch on Xbox Game Pass or not and he said no Game Pass plans for Cyberpunk 2077. Now Xbox Game Pass is a really good service. It's a subscription based service where you can play a lot of games without having to pay the full price. And if you join Xbox Game Pass for the first time, you can do that by paying only 50 rupees per month and then later on once that first month is done, you have to pay rupees 329 per month to have that subscription. And the amount of games that Xbox Game Pass has is actually really good to take a look on because I played Metro Exodus right there, I played Sea of Thieves in there and they are adding more and more games into Xbox Game Pass so that more people can enjoy. Now as for Cyberpunk which is a very very new game and of course for any company who is working on a new game for years and years and you know that Cyberpunk took so long time to complete it and now it's coming as a full release of course they want to earn some revenue from the game and I don't think so releasing that game on Xbox Game Pass on launch is gonna help them. I think later down the line in the future we might be able to get Cyberpunk 2077 on Xbox Game Pass but as of right now that is not of course happening. 
after such an amazing success ever since Resident Evil 7 and using the wonderful RE engine to make remakes such as Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3, they are bringing a new Resident Evil that is Resident Evil 8 which is coming out next year. And they even put on a survey for that game which I filled up, so I feel really proud right now. Previously it was rumored that Resident Evil 4 will have a remake and that will be the next game after Resident Evil 3 remake. And soon after the rumor changed and it was strongly suggested by a lot of people and a lot of sources the Resident Evil 8 will be the next game and that is what we got. Well now it has been speculated that Resident Evil 4 remake is actually happening but not very soon. Now this is just a rumor and is a statement given by someone who has leaked news about previous Resident Evil games that were actually confirmed. So you can take this with a pinch of salt and don't get too much excited for it. Aesthetic Gamer on Twitter replied to one of the tweets where one person asked about the Resident Evil 4 remake where he replied that it is happening but they won't show it this year. I mean of course Resident Evil 8 is coming so they will definitely not show Resident Evil 4 remake while they are marketing for Resident Evil 8. But I think so next year we might get some glimpses about Resident Evil 4 remake. Now again a lot of people did not want Resident Evil 4 remake to happen because Resident Evil 3 remake was not that good and on top of that Resident Evil 4 was already a good game and people say that it doesn't need a remake and to be honest they are somewhat right. We have seen the remake of Resident Evil 2 doing so good and Resident Evil 3 also doing so good, not as good as compared to Resident Evil 2 but still both these games are really good in comparison to how the original games was so they are a really really good remake. So maybe Resident Evil 4 remake will actually have the same kind of impact, we don't really know. What do you guys think about Resident Evil 4 Remake and are you guys excited for Resident Evil 8? I am for sure excited for Resident Evil 8 because I know that the story of Resident Evil 7 was so awesome and I somehow think that the Resident Evil 8 story will also be awesome. Well I hope you are enjoying this episode so do give us a like because it helps us out a lot giving and providing news like this every single week. Alright let's talk a bit about the PlayStation 5. I know a lot of people don't want to get PlayStation 5 but there are still a lot of people who also want to get PlayStation 5. PlayStation 5 actually looks really good in my opinion. It has a really good elegant design and I really appreciate that. Can't really say the same thing about DualSense controller because they couldn't deliver shock in DualShock. You know, I'm sorry that was a bad one. One of the most talked things about PlayStation 5 is the backwards compatibility. Whether we will be able to play PS1, PS2, PS3 and PS4 games in PS5. Now Sony hasn't been transparent about this backwards compatibility and people do expect this to happen because Xbox Series X is doing it. So of course PlayStation should do it as well. Well there is a tweet on Twitter where everything happens suggests that backwards compatibility is actually a thing. According to a tweet from Renka, Sony has filed a patent for backward compatibility stating a large number of game titles from PlayStation 1, 2 and 3 and various generation of consoles can be stored and used by a cloud gaming library. Now before this Sony actually confirmed that most of the top 100 PS4 games will be playable in PS5 and now based on this tweet it looks like PS1, PS2 and PS3 games will also be playable. Still we need to have a solid confirmation about things like this because if there is no solid confirmation all of these rumors just go to the trash. Speaking of confirmed news, Sony provided a sneak peek of how a PlayStation 5 game disc copy will look like and they showed it from Miles Morales as it looks like it will have a top white bar with a, with a physical disc cover and soon after that other companies also released their version of PlayStation 5 physical disc cover and in my opinion it doesn't look bad. What do you guys think about PlayStation 5? Will you guys be buying it when it comes out? I wish I could buy PlayStation 5 but I have bought PlayStation 4 this very year only so I cannot buy PlayStation 5. This is very very sad. You guys remember Left 4 Dead? Well for me it was a lot of fun because I used to play with a lot of friends. It was just a fun game overall. Although now the game isn't that great because not many people are playing it and to be honest everybody has moved on to World War Z which is kind of a clone to Left 4 Dead anyway. But the studio who worked on Left 4 Dead is actually working on a new game and it is a spiritual successor to Left 4 Dead called Back for Blood. What is up with these guys adding 4 in between two words? Back for Blood and then took the blood and left for dead? Back in March last year the studio announced something about this game and they have partnered with Warner Brothers Interactive Entertainment and they want to make this game with cutting edge technology. Well they didn't mention that much but they did mention that the core gameplay of Left 4 Dead will be the foundation for Back for Blood. So the new game is basically a new Left 4 Dead game. Instead of having Left 4 Dead 3, it is just a prequel. 
Recently, they did tweet out a concept art of the game and it looks like they are working on a trailer pretty soon. Now, concept arts doesn't exactly transpire into the original game because they're just trying to make that game based on that concept art. But the real question is, what will Back 4 Blood offer? Will it look exactly like Left 4 Dead or will it be somewhat different than Left 4 Dead? Because I hope that the second question is the answer. If you want to experience something like Left 4 Dead, you can always play World War Z, which I got for free but I never played it. There's just so many games to play and I have no time. World War Z is available only on Epic Store unfortunately and they do go on sale so maybe wait for a little bit and get the game then. Well you have so many games coming out in the second half of 2020 and now in this very week that is tomorrow we can have Ghost of Tsushima as well coming to PlayStation 4 and we will definitely have more news coming in the coming weeks so definitely do subscribe to Gamer Connect because you get to see gaming news, community showcase and so much more including some amazing streamer showdown streams and tournaments that is going to happen in the future. So do definitely hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified what's coming up next. My name is Gavin Madness and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.